Hello guys, my name is Kuling, welcome to this new video in which we'll be watching Cinderella, Cinderella playing in his E50. Now, a thing that you probably might not know, this thing is one of my all-time favorites, basically since I started playing this this game. <laughs> Back in the day, I actually loved this thing alongside of the Ferdinand. And actually, same as with Ferdinand, this thing was considered rather weak-ish because of a simple reason. It traded a lot of its mobility that its spears had for bonus armor. The Ferdinand was thought to be useless compared to the JP2 because the JP2 was practically moving in the speed of a speed of a medium tank while still having quite a lot of armor. But a thing that a lot of people didn't see at the Ferdinand was simply that it had absolutely broken armor around the time, well, a couple of years ago. I'm not gonna point out which exact, what exact time it was. By the way, I, I'm wondering how the fuck were you capable of bouncing the comet? Like, the only place where you can bounce comet like ever is the gunman plan. That's all you can bounce on that thing. Anyways, this thing is a second tank that was hated for pretty much the same reason. A lot of people thought that the amount of mobility you trade for the armor that you get on this tank is simply not worth it. Because this thing is like how much? 14 horsepower ton ratio, which is pretty heavy tank alive. Like you can get up to your top speed of 60 kilometers per hour. That was a pretty damn amazing high bro. And you can get to your top speed of 60 kilometers per hour rather quickly. Thanks to your ground resistances, which are pretty damn amazing. A best at your tier, if I'm correct. But still, your horsepower ton ratio isn't something incredibly amazing. <laughs> you simply are rather sluggish. You are basically like a heavy tank. Anyways. So far, the Xendario was capable of dealing already 1,300 damage, and after wrecking so much ass on this lane, he decided to take some aggressive action. Already 1,000 damage blocked, another block shell from the RU-251. Uh, there is still that RU-251 on, he probably thinks he, you can't see him. So we decided to show him that, yeah, man, I could see you, bitch. Alright, he decided to fire an high explosive at you, probably because your armor is a tiny bit too thick. Still, the armor isn't worth the mobility loss of this thing, because I don't feel it is like that. Anyways, an arrow shell into the RU-251 and he doesn't seem to be dead. Thankfully, he shot the rock in front of you and wasn't capable of shooting at you once again. You already got a pretty solid game, 2050 damage dealt and 1500 damage block. I would be pretty damn happy. Basically everybody in the comment section most likely would be happy with this kind of a result. I personally wouldn't because my average is still a tiny bit higher. Not right now. Oh, whoa, whoa. I'm honestly surprised that you were capable of penetrating the Egg Tiger superstructure because it has like 250 armor frontal and plus that he was angled because he was working rich line. Like how much does this thing, 270 penetration, I'm wondering you were, you would be even capable of penetrating frontal at the superstructure without any angling. But once again, you ran out of enemies to shoot at, so we decided to go into a bit more of an aggressive spot, killing the Yag Tiger. But would you look at the map? Your entire south, southwest flank. Oh, there's an ISU. That ISU, by, by the way, is incredibly dangerous thing. All people completely ignore that the ISU 122S is basically the same kind of a thing as the SU 12244. It is incredibly high DPM. It's basically the same exact thing. Long story short, it's just a tiny bit slower if I'm correct. Anyways, would you look at the map? Your southwest part of a map is completely falling, falling apart. Like if you look at this, how many how many of your teammates went over here? I feel like seven. May, not seven, that is way too much. Probably like five or six. And all of them are dead. The only kills your team picked up so far were the three kills that were picked up by you. What the hell is happening? Where the fuck is your team? Oh, I know. Camping. Camping. Yeah, fun. Anyways, that pesky little RE221. Yeah, 251 is finally down. And there is that IS6, which is probably aiming at one of your teammates. And what a terrible low roll, but you were actually capable of penetrating him, which was once again quite lucky. There is actually a tiny, tiny little space that you can shoot at, at the IS6's frontal plate. Uh, I meant. Is it a frontal plate or a side arm? I, I get absolutely no idea. You were actually capable of penetrating the frontal plate, which I'm once again surprised by. Like. How the hell were you capable of penetrating it? 
And there is your enemy E50. Would you were keep up trading with E? Sadly, you dealt only 350 damage, which is rather terrible overall. Once again, there is a comment shoot at him. Once again, a pretty lucky shot because you were actually capable of hitting it. If I shot that kind of a shot, I would definitely have missed. I'm not even kidding. I would 100% miss. There's like no chance for me to hit that kind of a shot. Well, by the way, I should point out one thing. You are pretty much working like a light tank for your team. Breaking up a pretty decent amount of 2800. Nearly 2900 spotting damage. That is absolutely amazing. Anyways, you were once again capable of killing another opponent. And so far your team wasn't still capable of getting a single kill. You got all 5 kills that your team was capable of getting. And right now, once again, you ran out of enemies to shoot at. Oh, that, oh, that would be incredibly lucky if you actually hit that shell on the comet. But uh, let's see, nope, the comet won't be capable of hitting it. Anyways, you once again are taking quite a bit of an aggressive spot, once again angling this thing, because this thing has amazing angling capabilities. If you look at the whole armor of this thing, it's basically a rectangle, it is not a circle, it, is, it doesn't have like a pike nose or anything like this, so we got a pretty much free time angling. It's incredibly easy to angle, and the armor isn't somehow incredibly thin, so we can not only ease, easily angle it, but you will actually block everything. By the way, look at this. Who was saying that this tank's armor isn't worth trading for the mobility? Because I do feel like it is definitely worth it, as you are actually right now capable of surpassing the 2500 block damage mark. There is a Udes 3 you are capable of detracting it. Come on team, shoot at that little tiny Udes 3 come on, no, nobody actually shot at him. And you had to do it yourself, taking another 375 damage off of his hit points. Uh, I should have brought some water because my mouth is running dry. Jesus freaking hell. But if your team was actually finally capable of killing something, somebody at your team is doing something apart from you. There is the Stuter a mill, one gel and to him. There is an MX AC48. That thing is pretty dangerous. It has a pretty decent gun if I'm correct. It's a it's still a tier 8 thing to true. But he did a mistake of showing his lower play. One gel into your tracks. Second chill into your tracks. Where the fuck are you going to penetrate this thing? Oh, I guess you are actually going to be capable of penetrating this thing's lower play. It, was it a lower play? I do feel like it was a lower play. And there is a vacuum cleaner superstructure, which for some reason he decided to show it to you. It has like 30 armor, it is pretty primitive to penetrate. But as we all might see on the ammo loadout of our hero, the Xenderiel, he is running out of his regular standard AP shells. And he will have to dig into his APCR ammunition right about now. But honestly, I said, if I had, if I was capable of dealing 6000 damage in a tier 9 battle, I would definitely dig into my premium rounds like crazy as well. There is an Udes of 3, another block shell from him, another block shell from the MX AC46, and another shell block from the American T25. Too. By the way, I should point out that the first damage that our hero took throughout this entire battle was at the two uh, in the second minute and 30 second second. What the fuck was my English over there? I do feel like I was correct though. Anyways, our hero did not receive a single point of action. He has received like 32 damage from that RE251 shooting high explosive at him. But he wasn't even capable of taking any real, quote unquote, real damage for seven and a half minutes. That is pretty damn impressive. This thing's armor is freaking broken. By the way, I should point out that the MX AC46 was actually capable of penetrating. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering about how the hell he did that. Probably a shoddy or lower play. But the T25 2 actually decided to dare to shoot at you, and he had its payment returned by an arrow shell that killed him. And here we go. Dixon Darrow was capable of getting his 10th kill, the Udes 3 By the way, where you won't be capable of getting that Chrysler GF. Come on, Super Pershing, you fucking dinglet don't come on, Cap. We won't be capable of capping this in time unless you call me. Yes, finally, you picked up all three of your brain cells and decided to come into the fucking Cap Circle. Ugh, Jesus fucking hell. Dumb people like this can trigger me like crazy. I can still my mouth dry. I actually wasn't capable of streaming, screaming well enough. 
Anyways, so far our hero, well, GG in the Chrysler GF1 became low blind firing, so it's gonna be a G freaking G. By the way, before the post game stats, I should point out that T34 actually only just now realized that you are capable of getting 10 kills. <laughs> oh my freaking god. Anyways, in the post game stats, we may see what an actually amazing game this was. You were actually capable of getting 11 different medals, and plus that you were capable of getting an ace tanker. By the way, this was a quickie baby submission, but I don't give a fuck because everybody nowadays goes to quickie baby like come on quickie baby record my replay they do not give a damn about any our youtubers and about the fact that there are even some our youtubers better ones i'm not saying that i'm better than quickie baby but he seems to be a tiny bit overrated for the fact that he abs he doesn't edit his videos at all anyways our hero was capable of getting hand of a god medal bruiser medal dual as fire effect shell proof bulls medal for those 10 kills petrols duty which is kind of kind of weird Considering the fact that you are pretty much playing a heavy medium, then you were capable of getting a steel wall. Kind of a weird combination. Then you were capable of getting a high caliber, and boy, what a high caliber this was for nearly 10,000 damage. Then you were capable of getting a tank sniper, showing you just how incredibly efficient, yeah, efficient this tank is at the long range. It is like 0.29 accuracy, if I'm correct. That is pretty damn amazing. And lastly, you were capable of getting a top gun. In a team score, we might see that you are capable of definitely dealing more damage than the rest of your team combined. And the enemy team wasn't all that bad, they were kind of balanced out if it comes to top spots. But your team was absolutely terrible. And I'm kind of surprised that the ding-along that nearly cost you the game actually was the second best at your team. And that is seriously surprising. In the detail report, we might see that you were still capable of getting 53 thousands for this game despite the fact that you spammed gold like crazy 80 thousand for resupplying a tank just b because you took like half a uh, health damage so that was kind of cheap to repair but mainly he spammed so much gold but still you were capable of making money this is pretty incredible by the way there's a thing i kind of forget to point out this thing for some reason has pretty uh, inexpensive shell it's rather easy to resupply it, so if you are firing just the center rounds, they cost like less than 1000 if I'm correct. So they are easy to resupply and it's not gonna cost you a lot, even if you will dip into your APCR ammunition. Anyways, it's gonna be the end of this video, hope you enjoyed and I hope that I'll see you next time. Bye!